Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, today's video is going to be about how to create uh, infographics for your Instagram account. Uh, if you haven't got an account yet, then after today you'll be able to start your own account so you can share your content with your audience. Uh, to do this, uh, we're going to need a tool called Canva. Uh, but before we do that, I'll ask you guys to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you can get notified every time I post a video. I post two videos a week, one video for personal development and education like this one, and the the other video is usually about health and nutrition. Hi guys, my name is Steve from stevenjohnsey.com. So let's get into it. And uh, to do that, as I said, you're going to have to go to uh, Google and then type in uh, Canva com and then you'll be able to get to this page here uh, this is the home page for canva.com uh, well when you are here then you can go to the search bar there and then type instagram post and then we'll be able to get to this page here uh, then we need just a blank canvas that we're going to start everything from uh, to be able to uh, get our uh, design started so the good thing about canva is that is a free uh, tool. You can use it. It's easy to use and uh, you don't need to have a um, um, graphic design background. So it guides you because it's a drag and drop tool. So you can do that. Uh, it's way better than uh, Photoshop uh, because uh, Photoshop is so complicated. Uh, but Canva has got the free account and the pro account. So the free account is what we're going to use uh, and it's all you need really. And if you want to explore more uh, about the other options like with the elements with the photos free photos and all other different things then you can upgrade to a, a canva pro but before you upgrade you can just uh, trial a canva uh, pro for 30 days i've got a link uh, down below that you can use to uh, subscribe uh, and get that free um, pro account uh, with that said i uh, will now get into the canvas as you can see it's all white what we need is uh, we need a black background so we will go on to the left side of the toolbar and go to background and then on the background we'll go up there and then hit onto that black color and this is it and we've got our canvas now we're all ready to work uh, but obviously before you uh, come to this state this page uh, or this stage, you would have um, uh, prepared and uh, researched what you're going to talk about in your account, uh, like I've already done. So I've got some few things that I, I will use here, the heading and the in information. This is just an example of what you, you need to do. So you just, uh, you, you know, get some information that you have so you don't have to waste time while you are uh, working uh, on this uh, project so you can create more it's easy i'll show you how you can even do create uh, a lot of them at the same time uh, so what we need now is to go to our text on the left toolbar again and we'll just uh, click on to text and then we get the uh, heading and our heading uh, as you can see here we will um, kind of take it up a little bit <clears throat> yeah and then uh, i'll go to my uh notepad there and then grab a topic there that i'll talk about uh, i'm in health and fitness so i'm gonna try and use that one uh, and then what we will do we'll uh, onto that heading uh, i'm going to paste uh, that uh, um, heading that I've, uh, I've got so as you can see <clears throat> i'm gonna increase the font you go to the uh, the font uh, size there then i will maybe go to 42 that's good and then i'm gonna bring it in a little bit so i can get some weights underneath as well so that uh will that looks good and then i'll bring it up a little bit and then if you move around to try and locate the center or the middle uh, the purple colors will come in just to show you that you are in the middle as you can see there and yeah i'm in the center there so i'll just leave it there and then what i'll do i'll maybe highlight some colors uh, a different color uh, um, i'll just highlight a high protein there i'll use a different color just to kind of get attention and then um, let's see how it looks it looks all right and then i think that help you uh, might grab uh, more attention as well you know people want to be helped with something so it's good uh, just to always make sure you grab the, uh, them uh, their attention with that because they are looking for something so here we are uh, so you've got that now. The next thing that we need to do is to uh, just put your, your handle so people can know where they can uh, see more of your content. So I'll go to a text and then go to subheading. And the subheading there, I'll just add um, my handle, uh, Instagram handle. And then um, you can do the same so that people can uh, <clears throat> follow you, you know. Uh, then I'll bring it up as well. As I say, Canva is good because it's just drag and drop. So I've dragged it, as you can see, I'm dropping it there. Uh, so what you can do, if you wanna move it up a little bit, you can press shift and 
arrow up that will take uh, that will take it 10 pixels uh, at a time but if you just use an arrow up it's one pixel at a time so I'll leave it I think it's about uh, yeah it's about right there so the next thing now to work on is our content I'll just uh, close that so we can have more space so our content we need to put our content there and as I was saying before um, we need uh, that um, that preparation that we had before um, so that we can uh, um, I'll get my text back there we go yeah so we just have everything in place ready for you to uh, to locate it uh, all right there we go all right i'll get my text and then this is the text that i'm going to use so what before i do that i am going to go to text again and then get heading and this is the heading where uh, i'm going to um, um add everything in so i'll just leave it in the center for now and i'll just highlight everything um I'll highlight and then I'll add uh, I want the numbers there in numbers so I go to bullet points there list and then I press again it gives me the numbers so then I will come here and then um, select um, highlight and then copy my content and then I'll come here uh, I'm gonna paste everything there and then my content will come as you can see uh, it's uh, right in the middle of this um, block so what i will do i am going to click on it there and then put it to this to the left i think it's nice on the left you can put it uh you can justify it you can also it on the right but i think i prefer it on the left so then we're going to work on this i'll just bring drag it up a little bit so i can create more space there uh, but i'm going to open it a, a bit and then bring it in so i can go just along there then you can drag it down a little bit as well. But the other thing that you can do also, you can choose the font that you want. Um, I think this font is uh, just it's multiple fonts there. So I'm gonna use stroke here, let's see. Um, or maybe um, Quincy. Yeah, maybe Quincy. Yeah, I'll, I'll go with that. Yeah, I think that's, that's cool. And also while on the text, you can come up here and then space, uh, between the points so it can be more readable or you can even space between the actual letters so you just create and see what works for you so it can be easy for your for your audience to read as well so i'll just bring it to the side a little bit more and then now what we're going to do is to add some icons that we always see that makes it a bit more appealing more attractive so what you need to do to do that you go to elements and then elements you tap let's see what, what are we talking about here protein high protein then i'll uh, say uh protein I'll, on the search bar and then see what comes up on the element so um uh, i can i can see chicken pie there <laughs> uh, but uh i think i saw one there before yeah this one i'll use this one uh, i can see the muscle here because you're talking about how the protein can help build your lean muscle and also reduce muscle loss so just a uh, um something related to what you're talking about is usually usually nice kind of get people uh, interested um that's my experience anyway uh then let's see uh what else can we bring uh i'll search uh food and then i will um Yeah, I'll just, I'll just pick this one, that's it. And yeah, this one is in black though, so let's see what we can do with that. It's good, you can use that so I can show you that you can play around with Canva and do other things. So I'll click on that and this uh, block, uh, uh, square box that is the same color as the icon, uh, it's there, so it's, um, I'll click on it and then just bring a little bit of a different color. You can uh, try different colors that will come out of the black. So, but I'll just leave uh, uh, green as it is, that lighter green. Yeah, that's it. That looks looks better. Um, as you can see, now you can work on that. And the next thing that you need to do um, is uh, just put your logo in, uh, so so that you can protect your your content. So it's always good to protect your content. Put your logo or your watermark if you've got one. If you don't have, then that's fine. You can. Uh, um put something i'll just say uh icon then we just grab uh we just say logo 
Okay, then we've got some few logos as you can see. We've got a YouTube logo, Facebook logo. Then you can have your logo. Uh, uh, when you've got yours, then you can put it in. So for now, I will put uh, uh, this one here. I don't know what that means, but it's a it's a pro one. Uh, so uh, you can take one that will be uh, just to identify you and your your, your content. So I'll, I think this one is good. I'll, I can bring it a little smaller. That's it. Right there, it's in the middle, and that's it. That's your infographic already uh, to go onto your account or onto someone's account <laughs> if they want it. Uh, so what you can do now to create another one, uh, so you don't need to start create from the start. So what you can do is uh, uh, duplicate this. You can see it, duplicate this page. So now we've got two pages. So this one and that one. And then for you now, you don't need to work a lot here because you've already got the layout and uh, you just need to put the content in. So I'll go and do another one uh, quickly. Let's see what one can I do. Uh, this one, I'll quickly do that. I don't want this video to be long. I'll copy that and then we'll come up here. And then I'll paste that. Just want to show you that it's possible to do this uh, so so quick got that and then i'm going to change the color there let's see if we can do this color or this one which one will come then uh, if you want to uh, increase the uh, extent of the color you come up to new color and then you can even make it even more or even come here and make it you can change the color you want you see you can even uh, do that then kind of play with it until you get the color that you want really that's it i think i'll leave with that so you can make these uh, um um you can make all these bold uh not bold but uh, cup you can make them cup lock and then what you can do um, um just bring them to the side just to make it a little different to the one you had already then try and locate it in the center and up a little bit i think that's it so now you've got that and then you've got the content uh, that you need to, to to bring in as well so what i will do i will get that and then copy as i did before and then then we paste and we've got our <coughs> our content again so that as um I will just change that logo to something related to what we're talking about. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. You can bring that. You can take this one out. Uh, to take one, to, to delete, you just uh, uh, press delete on the keyboard. Or you can just come up here. Not here, up there, because we've selected this and then delete. If you come here, we'll delete all. <laughs> so you can just backspace from there or just delete on the keyboard. That's it. That's all you need. And then, then we'll remove that one, I guess. I'll just show you. We go to delete, as you can see. And then I will um, uh, so do another one. Exercise. It's one of the points that we're talking about there. So what you can do, select one that uh, looks whatever that works for you guys. And that's it. Here you go. You see, this is quick. I'm done. It's already done. I've got the, I've got my, um, uh, I've got uh, my Instagram handle there and everything just located how you want it. You can make it a little bit different. You can change the, the um, uh, uh, from Quincy. You can then go back to Arimo if you like or Trokey just to make it a little bit different. Uh, so you do what you can and do just to make it look um, attractive to your audience, guys. That's the main point. You want them uh, to benefit something, but you want to prevent something that is, you want to um, provide them with something that is good so they can share it as well. And that's it. Uh, I'll make sure it's in the middle. There we go. So that's it. That's uh, within a few minutes, we've got two um, graphics there, as you can see. Uh, so I'll show you the ones that I did before. I did that one, protein, and then 
yeah this some of the ones that I did before uh, it's all different that you can do so the reason why I left this one there if the photo is because you can use the photo as well instead of icons you can just use a photo um, then you can drag the photo to the little bit that you uh, you know to the whatever that you are working on so it's just like that but instead it's a photo um, so it's just a quick tip uh, if you want um, if you want uh, more <clears throat> more icons let's say you're not happy with uh, you're on a free account canva free and you don't like uh, what canva has provided you is not enough so one thing that you can do is to go to uh, graphicburger.com and then on graphicburger.com you can go to icons and then they will give you all the icons for free uh let's say business icons there and then you all of them all of these you know then you download them um, uh, onto your computer and then um um, upload onto Canva the ones that are PNG. Yeah, there's a PNG file in another different file. So just upload a PNG file into your Canva account. You will be on your uploads here and then you bring it, then you can use those uh, different icons instead of the Canva account. And if you want to use photos for free as well, uh, the photos, um, Canva has got photos that are free, but uh, you will need to get the background out of them. Uh, but uh, to get a background out of uh, the photo on Canva, you need uh, Canva Pro. Uh, but uh, to to find a way around that, uh, I'll give you another website to go to, which, which is called uh, remove.bg. I think I'm not on my search yet, that's it. Uh, then you remove a photo, should come up. I think I've, yeah, so what you do, you go, here and then um, add a photo that you want to be removed. Uh, quickly, I'll add. Um, I'll add that photo quickly, and then I did that before, so I'm just going to do it again so I can show you. See that white background is gone, and I've got this checked background, which is a transparent background. Then you download that, and it will come onto your. Uh, your folder and then you come back to Canva and then you upload it into Canva. You just drop, drag and drop from your folder into here and then it comes there. You click on it I'll take this one out. and then that's it. You know, it comes here. So you've got a photo with that background. Now you can use it. You can even use it here. I'll just um, put it here. You see, you can even put it here as well. You see, instead of um, an icon, you've got a photo. So that's how you do it, guys. And uh, one last uh, thing uh, is uh, that I've got a video that uh, talks about how to get the free uh, photos that you don't need to attribute uh, anyone. They are free photos. So I'll put the link up or down below, and I'll put a card up here so that you can follow that video. It's got, I've got top five for a website that gives you the photos for free. Uh, I think that's it guys uh, with that i hope guys you'll be able to uh, create your own infographics for your instagram account or even start an account that you'll be able to share this information to your audience and uh if you've got any questions just let me know and i'll get back to you guys all right uh, otherwise don't forget to subscribe uh, to my channel and uh, hit that notification bell so that I can notify you every time I post a video. As I said, I post two videos a week, one video for personal development and nutrition and education as well. So I do those videos in, um, in a week, uh, every week. So with that, I'll talk to you soon. You take care. Bye.